You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. I'm back with Rick Mora, who survived the set of Twilight, uh, mm-hmm. Yellow Rock, and a bunch of other movies where, I don't know, he fucked where people I die. Good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Where and, uh, I die. And then yeah. a couple of our friends who are, well... Uh, how do you say it? Pretty awesome, I guess. What's it like being so fucking awesome, dudes? Seriously. Legends. Tell Owning me. the legend. How do you, how's it feel uh, to own legends? Yeah, what is it, let me just introduce you guys. It's Clint Burke, who's got a history in this business with, uh, you know, everyone from Blondie the Romantics to the International Swingers, and James Stevenson, who's been in 72% of the world's bands. Actually, 73, now with the <laughs> <laughs> International Swingers. You got a new one today. 73. 73. And uh, I actually have a pick that someone made me a bunch of pick, guitar picks. And they say 72%. 72% of the... I, to, I meant to bring you up. Everything from The Alarm to Gene Loves Jezebel to The Cult. Is there a band you haven't... To, to combined, you two, is there bands you haven't been in? Beatles. Beatles. Beatles is it Stones. Rolling Beatles. Stones. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you probably played their songs <laughs> at some point. Did you? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> at some point, everybody does. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's the learning curve. I can't tell you how many uh, really rich, crazy experiences I had growing up with every single one of your bands. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, all of them. All of them. Wow. All of them. Where's Glenn? Wow. Where's Glenn? Glenn's too hung over to show up with you guys? <laughs> no, Glenn doesn't drink. That's another story. Where is Glenn, though? He's hanging out in my condo. Oh, it's a rough life being a rock <laughs> legend, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, He actually gave us a very good discussion when he was here on Combat Radio a yeah, while ago. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, and pretty actually sincere, I thought, from like the Sex Pistols history and where, you know... He, oh, you know... You know Glenn's been, I mean, I've been close to Glenn for nearly 30 years, you know. Yeah. He's been through all that Sex Pistols thing, very up and down kind of yeah. thing, really. But, you know. I thought of you last night, because I was walking through Disneyland. Remember the day we were there, and you went on that suicide rocket to hell? That <laughs> ma- that thing that launches you I like 900 feet like in the air? Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. Don't go to Disneyland with this guy, Clem. They got rides at Disneyland <laughs> that make you scared? It, yeah, Dude. Few, it's not like Magic Mountain. <laughs> no, I to say. Yeah. Hollywood Hell Hotel, right? Is that in there? Oh, yeah, that was good. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> so you guys got a gig coming up? We've got a whole tour coming up, actually. Ooh. But the first show is tonight, which is a free Ball Ages Farmer's Market, which is on... That's tonight? It's tonight. I'm there. Right. I'm there. Right. Farmer's Market. It's at 7 p.m. It's I'm there. kind of early. No, I like that, though, because I'm a father. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw you, you guys play... Far- yeah, no, I saw you guys play there before. With, with the, Jay, yeah. Yeah, and it's actually a really cool setting for Very something. Cool. A lot of... I'm going to be there. I had no idea it was at the farm. Why I'll the fuck do I picks. find out about this stuff on Facebook? How long have we known each other? But I told, I, you didn't find out. Are you on his I tweet? I messaged you. Did no, no, no. You called you? me yesterday. I'm oh, down at the Disney know. Resort, and this guy, you know, oh, you know, maybe, Ethan, I don't know. We've got this gig going. What's the, Where's the gig tomorrow night, real quick, for it's our fans? It's in It's called Webber's. The lovely Here's how we do this, Reseda. which is on Tampa and Van Nuyen. Burke, I'm putting this to you, okay? I want you to witness this. When you guys got your dates, even though if they're a month out, that's when you get them to me. <laughs> when they're a month out, two months Sounds out. Sounds like an idea. And I start doing it every week. Not like, the show's tonight! <laughs> you know? Hey, all you fans. Yeah, I've always <laughs> been, like, I always think of everything at the last minute. You know? you, uh, that's the way I've always been. By the way. Um, Sorry about that. No, yeah, yeah. You know, you, From you, your apologies. Stevenson, we've known each other long enough. Your apology is always good with us. How do you guys know each other? I can't even remember. Actually, I think Jay Aston. Yeah, it might have been Jay. Who, another guy I love dearly. You were working on that Sinjin Smith movie. That's right. I was putting together a film and I needed some music. Yeah. And you may still, still yet get waiting. an opportunity. Yeah, waiting. Are you, you waiting may... for your check, too? No, no, because I was, we were, you know, it's like interesting. I was trying to put together a, like a, I wanted a sort of a guitar soundtrack that kind of emulated the old Sergio Leone picks. You know, and I said, right. you know, I, you know, what we need is we need a rock guy. We don't need a composer. I want to get somebody who's kind of an outlaw. And that's, I think, how you got in the mix, if I remember right. And we were like, you know, let's take an unconventional approach. But, you know, it's interesting because now the industry is really kind of getting big on that. And we get hit up for that all the time, you know, which one of you guys can do music for so-and-so. Because I think that there's... It's becoming trendy. It seemed like for a while, it's like the, like rock and roll guys weren't appreciated at for their ability to put music together that could work for a film, it seemed like. But now that's changed a little bit. People are more... That was called the, that was called the 80s. That's not here. That's not here. Well, you know, you <laughs> that was can't, called the people 80s. don't buy CDs anymore, so you have to think of other avenues yeah. to get your music across. You know? And it was kind of like an evolutionary process artistically. We thought, well, this is all something cool and different that people can uh, take a crack at, and artists can kind of, you know, drum up and be involved in. No pun intended. So, where were you guys last night at the pub? Where was uh, my we invite? Went, where no, was we were my... at the uh, opening at, of uh, Who Shot Rock and Roll at the Annenberg. At the Annenberg, uh, yeah. Oh, were you? Yeah. yeah big and show how was last that? Night. It was good. You know, it actually 
uh, a lot of old friends were there. Bob Groen, the photographer, is a really old friend of uh, ours, and uh, you know he did the John Lennon's uh, green card photo. He did that famous photo of Lennon and right. the Statue of Liberty giving the peace sign. So Henry Diltz, uh, L.A. photographer, much renowned, and a lot of other people hanging out, yeah. open bar, and. Uh, Oh, I like that. I love how you I factor that in, too. The, I think I looked at one or two of the photos in between. The <laughs> Actually, there were some really good photos. How yeah, do you know right. this guy? That's How do you know James? We all interconnect. The, the International Swingers Band's about friends, you know. Uh, I think I met James originally a long, long time ago on just in the whole punk rock scene in London. Because you've played in about 62% of the world's bands. Well, no, you know, <laughs> I like to stay busy playing. I don't really like to play the drums by myself. I'd rather, like, collaborate with yeah. musicians and play. It's we not that much fun just banging on the drums. And didn't you work with the Ramones, home. too, at one point? I was Elvis Ramone, yeah. Elvis Ramone. Yeah, Elvis for a little Ramone. while. A little while. That was a sort of a strange situation. I'd just gotten off the road of a two-year tour with the Eurythmics. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, they had the same management, and basically the, the Ramones had asked me to join the Ramones about three or four times over the time of, that I knew them. I was really good friends with Joey, but then when I actually did do it, it didn't work out particularly. But I liked my name, Elvis Ramone. I came up with my name. I didn't Can I say be, that's one of the best names? I didn't want to be Clemmy Ramone, you know. So I thought Clemmy, <laughs> Elvis, Clemmy Ramone, Ramone. <laughs> Elvis Ramone had more of a, a ring to it that I liked, and uh, they were all big Elvis fans, so they kind of went for it immediately. No, no, that's smart. But uh, you know. Like getting back to the band, the International Swingers, uh, Glenn and our singer Gary Twin and James, we've all been friends for years, so it's kind of like we're doing this like it's a fun thing, you know. You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on LA Talk Radio. 